Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day as usual. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of the Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet. If you guys have been watching me for a long time, you know that I've had my eye on this bad boy for quite some time. And I did a little Christmas shopping at this place called the Galleria. And whenever I go there, I can't help myself because all of the naughty stores are there. You have Burberry, you have Prada, you have YSL, you have Chanel, you have Louis Vuitton, Neiman Marcus, oh, and I can't take it. And for a fashion lover like me, going to places like this is a no-no because I know I'm going to get myself in trouble. But I did pick up something I had had my eye on for a really long time. So if you guys want to see what that item was, then keep watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And let's get into the unboxing. All right, before I get into the unboxing, I have to mention this beautiful Louis Vuitton packaging. How pretty is this with the rainbow colors? Oh my gosh. I am just in love with this bag. It is perfection. So who cares about the contents of the bag? Let's just talk about the bag for a minute. It is so nice. Love, love, love the holiday packaging. So, of course, we have my receipt, which you know that I always like to hang on to in the event that I do want to sell it. That way it'll prove that it's authentic. And let's get right into it. So they packaged it really, really nicely for me. And let's go ahead and open it. And then once I open it, I will kind of tell you a little bit of a backstory. So, of course, it comes in this nice little Louis Vuitton box and you open it like this. Now I have not opened it since I got it and I have had it for a few days. I've been dying to open it. Okay, you have a little dust bag. So the Zoe wallet that I got was, da da da, this one right here. This is the Damier Aben with the Rose Ballerine. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Now the, this comes in a lot of different styles. Now I do have to say, this was the one that I had my eye on, but I have to tell you a story. You know there's always a story behind things. So when I went in the store, I knew I wanted this one, but I started looking at it and I was like, oh gosh, is this going to get dirty? I was so worried that it was going to get really dirty. And when I asked the sales associate, she said, yeah, it would get a little dirty. And from a distance, I saw the red and the red was so stunning. It was bright and beautiful. I'm not really like a huge red person in the sense where like I don't wear it all the time. I usually wear it for Valentine's Day, the holidays, that type of stuff. So I saw that. I thought it was beautiful. I'm like, oh my gosh. I said, between these two, which one would you recommend? And she actually recommended that I get the red one because she said, this one's not going to get as dirty. So I ended up buying it. I went home. And I was just, you know how you get that buyer's remorse, you have that in the pit of your stomach, and so I watched a lot of videos on it, I'm like, I just don't know, is this the right one to get? So then I'm like, okay, well I know I want to return the red one, but I'm torn now between the Rose Ballerine or the Emprunt leather, because the Emprunt leather is really pliable, so it stretches out. I know this because I do have the key pouch, and I really like that. So then I went back and I was torn, which one should I get? And I thought, you know what, I need to just kind of go with my gut. I didn't want to get the Emprunt leather because I thought it would be too similar to my key pouch. So I ended up going with this, and good news, I don't know if you guys knew this, fun little fact. I asked the guy, the sales associate who was helping me the second time, and I said, how can I keep this clean? He said, Dove soap will keep this very, very clean. So I'm hoping that it will stay nice. So anyway, that was the backstory, just so you know. So let's get into the wallet and let me kind of tell you why I got it. And let me show you kind of an up close of it. So you can see you have this beautiful rose ballerina. And then the really nifty thing about this, and this is actually what sold me on the wallet, it has this pocket right here. And I thought that that would come in handy for multiple reasons. If you want to put your ID, um, if you want to put one of the most used credit cards, or like a room key, anything like that, that you're going to kind of have access to a lot. A lot of reviews I've watched on this wallet, people are saying that this little pocket right here is a game changer. Now you might know the Victorine wallet is very, very similar. That one does not have a pocket right here so this is something I was really really excited about 
So you can see it has the Rose Ballerine. You can get it in the red. Um, I got the Damier Ben. You can get it in the monogram. Um, I think they have the Damier Azure. You can also get it in the Emprunt Leather, which is beautiful. And like I said, I was thinking about getting that, but it was so close to the key pouch and it was $100 more. So this wallet did retail for $465 and I believe the Emprunt Leather was like $100 more. And I was like, I just don't know if it's worth it for $100 more. So anyway, so here is the front of the wallet. You can see kind of thin and then on the back you have this little pocket you open the wallet up and you can see what the interior looks like you're going to get two card slots here and then you're going to get two card slots over here and then this is kind of deep and I have heard that when you put the card in the second pocket that it is pretty deep and you can't see it but I love also that you have this billfold right here and you also have a cute little coin purse so even though this wallet is like really mini the reason I got it is because it's so functional. It has the billfold. It has the coin purse. It has a place for your credit card. Don't worry. I do plan on doing a further review of this wallet, but right now this is just kind of first impressions and I wanted you to see it. So again, I love the fact that it has the coin purse. I love the fact that it has um, places for your credit cards. I love fact that it has a billfold and then most importantly I love this so I'm really hoping it doesn't get dirty but I do plan on doing a review and then I also you guys might know that I do have the Victorine wallet which is a little larger I was thinking of doing a review of that kind of like a comparison video so you guys can see well like which one should I get so this is so cute I've had my eye on it for such a long time one thing that I do want to do really quickly is I just want to see how easily um, cards go in it so I actually have some I have some business cards so let me just kind of put a business card in there all right you do have to kind of like push a little bit to get it in but it fits in there let me show you what I mean in the second pocket how you can't even see the card but yes yeah, so, so you can see it kind of disappears you can't really see it and I will be honest it is a little difficult to get the cards in and out and from what I understand, this is the difference between the canvas and the Emprunt leather because that can be a little more pliable. And so like I said, I was on the fence about whether or not to get this one or that. But the reason I went with this is because this is the initial one I had my eye on. And I was just worried that if I got another style that I would end up having more buyer's remorse. I always already had it once by getting the red, so I wanted to go with my gut and just get this one. Now in the Victorine wallet, I do have the Rose Ballerine interior, but I have it in the monogram, but I just love the way that this Damier Ben looked with the Rose Ballerine. I thought it was so pretty. So yeah, that's what it looks like. I am going to insert some footage right now so you guys can really see what this looks like. Okay guys, I wanted to do an up close for you of this wallet. So you can see it is so beautiful. You have the beautiful rose ballerine. And then you can see it has the little gold button. I got it in the Damier Ben. So let me turn it around. You can see it here. I love that it has this pocket. I think the pocket is going to be so incredibly functional. So let me go ahead and open it up for you. And I'm doing this with one hand, so don't mind me. See, it has two credit card slots on both sides, and then it is going to have the bill fold here, which I think is wonderful. And then it's also going to have the little um, coin pouch as well, which it has this beautiful gold zipper, which is nice and shiny, and the zipper works really, really nice. So there you have it right there. I think that is just so pretty. Also, it does have a gold button. The Victorine wallet in this style has the little leather button. So I do like that it has a little gold button, not real gold. I have found that when you have the leather button, it can tend to wear off a little bit. So I'm really excited to use this. Like I said, I wear a lot of little tiny crossbody bags, so I think this is going to fit perfectly, and I will be sure to do a review on this as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really, really excited to get this. I think this is going to be a really, really functional little wallet, and I can't wait to wear it. So I also want to mention, just in case sometimes you guys will ask me, um, so I will be sure to link this wallet down below, and then also the gloss that I'm wearing, I will link 
link that down below as well. I think in one of my other videos I had a couple of you asking me what glass I was wearing. This is the Fenty Gloss Bomb. I'll link it down below. And then this sweater, like how cute is this sweater? I got this um, uh, for like 50% off and I will link this below as well. I think it's, per it's perfect for the holidays but you can also wear it into like the January, February months. It just reminds me of like a ski sweater. And then these um, earrings are Kendra Scott. So I will be sure to link everything down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. Today is the 23rd. I go to work today and then I'm off for a couple of days with my family, which I'm excited about. Also stay tuned. You know, every year I do our annual Christmas Eve vlog. So that'll be coming up as well. We have a nice little tradition. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and follow me on Instagram. I'd love to have you join me over there. And I will see you in my next video. I was looking like a fool when I met ya All covered up in the dirt from my past So insecure about myself when I met ya